Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at MuseBud, which is uh, an AUV3 MIDI generator. It's a generator of sequencer and looper. The looper section is awesome. Right, I'm going to show you this on two instruments, Synthmaster 2 Sound and an electric piano from Piano Tech, because I can show you the velocity and gating better with that than I can with the synth. Right, okay, so... We have all these different modes, notes, octave, duration, velocity, gate, ratcheting, and looper. And we have this percentage for all of these as well. So what this means is there's a 50% chance that all these notes that you can see along the top will fire when we press play. Okay, so we can, of course, go into our settings here and choose our scale. We're going to leave it on C major, but there are absolutely loads and loads of scales that you can choose from but i'm going to leave it on c major and you can choose yourself you also have like you all what, what you have in all the chems bud apps is the ability to make patterns and you just long hold copy and then paste so it will remember all the settings right if we press play you can see here the notes been selected to be played if you go to octave you'll see there's a 30% chance of octave 2, 40% chance of octave 3, and 20% chance of octave 4, and a 10% chance of the fifth octave. If we increase this, and let's put some in really high, there you go. Or, so for basses, for example, you might just want to go Choose these two bottom octaves. Put it back to something like this. Duration I'll show you in, in uh, well, I can show you this here actually. This is the resolution of the notes that may be played based on these percentages here. So for example, if I take all of these out, it's just gonna play one eight, no matter what the percentage is set on. But if you bring in one sixteenth, Maybe some. Super fast here. Get more sensible. Okay. Velocity I will show you on the piano, but it's self-explanatory. You can choose percentages here of the velocities played. Gate's the same. You choose percentages. I mean, you don't really want to be going like on, a, on an app that's responding to velocity. This, this, this patch isn't. But I wanted to use this patch to show you the ratchet. Right, so. 100% chance that, that note is only going to play once. Let's bring this up for triple. Okay, so you get that, right? Now the looper. The looper is always listening, unless you switch off record, but it's always recording. What that means is that we can set, I'm going to stop this a sec. We can set the count, the start and the count is up to 64. So it records 64. It just continually keeps recording the notes that have been played up to 64 times. But if we reduce this count, look what's happening. These are getting grayed out, right? Let's reduce this count to there and let's bring this star point up to we can visually see. But you see, the count is always going to be 24, so it'll just move around. So let's reduce the count to say these for now. If I press play on this and press play on here, it's only going to play those four notes, it's just going to continually loop them. And you'll see it's ratchet in some of them as well. 
so we can go and edit stuff in here so we can go oh, oh well okay uh, I don't want that and um, let's see edit so I have to press done so edit this one as well let's reduce the optic range and now, if we move it along the start point, we can drag this over here. And this, of course, will be recorded into your MIDI sequencer. And then we can increase the count. It's looking at rests and stuff as well. And all this can be edited. Now, if we stop this, it, it's just going to be taken over now by what's displayed here. So for example, this is a C major scale, it's like A minor as well, but we can choose what notes are played. So we don't want no rests, so every note will now trigger. Let's take out this B and this E. So now we've only got C, D, F and G, let's take the G out. And now it's only going to be listening to C, D, and F. And then at any time you like, you can... And you'll see that there's only the C, Ds, and Fs in here. Okay, awesome. Let's stop this and we'll just go back here. I'm going to go onto this uh, piano now. I'm going to mute Synth Master. Although they are playing in the same key, so, you know, it would actually work. Okay, so let's open Museboard and let's start this again. So let's look at Note. We've got our same scale. Let's change this to a minor scale. So, um... Right, C minor. In fact, let's change it to A minor. Let's change it to D minor. Okay, done. Done. Now we've got our D minor scales. You'll notice this is a B flat in there as well. Right, okay, so we'll just start this off. Let's take out that B flat. So it's only going to play and a D. Let's take the E out as well. Very nice. Let's look at the octaves now. Maybe some really low ones. Duration. So more likely that only quarter note resolution notes will play. Here's where it gets cool with a piano, so velocities, right? Let's have it just play low velocities. Won't matter now, it'll just play a velocity between 61 and 70. Because Piano Tech has loads of velocity layers, this is great. So we could go... Let's put this into draw. Now, on the durations look, we also have the choice of adding dotted and triplet notes in. So if we click dotted, you'll see a bunch more resolutions appear. So we could say, okay, well, let's one eight dotted. Or maybe a quarter dotted, because you'll hear it. We've got a swing here. Whoa, 
but you can also add in the triplets as well. Or you can just take them out and just carry on with what you've got going on. So velocity we've looked at. Gate is like, um, it will cut the note. So there won't be much sustain on the note. Unless we bring them all back up, of course. Now you're getting longer notes. And you'd hear this better um, if you had, say... by making adjustments to your notes. So more, more likely 116 still playing now. You can also hit this and it will just zero all of this out or push everything to a hundred percent sort of thing and of course you've got your looper as well so we could say right this is going to play them all let's bring this all the way down say and this up a bit further down and So you get it. What are we in? Oh, uh, did I say we were, we're in um, D minor? Let's go back here. Leave that play. Don't forget this is muted at the moment. Let's open Muse Bud. And set this to same D minor. Now we can unmute Synth Master as well and get some wild generous of stuff going. Maybe. Very cool. And of course, if you use one of uh, Chem's other apps, Brainbud, you can control them all together. Right. Okay, guys. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. That was Museboard. I'll put a link in the description below. It's at the moment, it's five five euros 99 i'm on european here i'm gonna just go and quickly get the british price for you and the uk pound price is 4.99 i'm guessing that's the same as us dollars okay top job cool beans thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel please consider becoming a patreon and i will see you later Oh, by the way, we demoed it in Logic Pro.